A little over an hour ago, the state Senate passed a bill addressing the reading scores of Hoosier third graders. Current stats show one in five Indiana students cannot read by the end of third grade. That's not good. 13 News State House reporter Emily Longnecker is here with a debate that surrounds this bill to fix that problem. Emily. Well, both sides agree that those statistics show that Indiana has a crisis when it comes to kids being able to read. How to fix the literacy issue, though, is where the debate starts. Under Senate Bill 1, all school districts would be required to give the I-Read exam to second graders instead of third graders. If a student fails the test in second grade, schools would be required to provide help and summer school, but students wouldn't be required to go. Students who take the I-Read test again in third grade and fail will be held back. The bill's author says this is not a retention bill, but says that may be needed. While some may say that retention is not good for the child, let's think about this. What isn't good is to move a student on without foundational reading skilled. There are some exceptions to holding a student back. Kids with special needs or who speak English as a second language could be exempt, along with students who've already been held back twice before they reach the third grade. Under the bill, schools must create an appeals process for parents if they believe their child should not be held back. Those who voted against the bill took issue with the mandatory retention part of it, saying school districts needed more time to implement the science of reading requirements passed by the legislature last session. Now is not the time for this specific legislation that includes the hammer of retention. We're taking away the discretion of our school administrators and our parents by implementing this blanket approach. We know that literacy is a top priority on both sides of the aisle. It's also at the top of Governor Holcomb's agenda this session. The debate, though, uh, on the literacy issue coming with very different viewpoints. We saw that today uh, in the Senate. Now the bill heads to the House where lawmakers there will decide if it gets a committee hearing. At the State House, Emily Longnecker, 13 News.